The Mass Singer. I know exactly who this is. God. What is up, everyone? I am Chris Knight, and you are watching the Real Review 3000 here with another episode of Unmasking the Mass Singer. We are at that time of the season. We are at the Super Six. We'll get to that in just a second. Let's talk the business at hand. This number right here is at 4666. We are trying to get that number up to 5,000 subscribers. We are 93% of the way, actually over 93% of the way, and you guys can help us. We got 30 days to hit just over 300 subscribers. How can you help us? Smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the bell so you know when we're coming out with new stuff. Consider helping us out with the PayPal donation. Reach out to us on Twitter at Chris Knight 5150 Email me, Chris Knight at the Real Review 3000com We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we are on Patreon, and we now, here at the Real Review 3000, have channel memberships. How do you get to that? Go to our main page and then hit that join button. It'll give you all the information you need about how to become a member and what the membership tiers are. Thank you for considering that. We greatly do appreciate it. Let's get first to who has been voted off and how we got to the Super Six. So we got five out of the six people who were voted off that we actually guessed. Three of them were voted off on the first episodes. Um, that was Dragon, Buster Rhymes on Group A's first episode, or on the premiere of Group A. Uh, Gremlin was Mickey Rourke. He didn't even get voted off. He took his mask off himself. Um, that was on the Group B premiere. And then Wendy Williams was the lips. She did get voted off. And that was Group C premiere. Those uh, three we did not guess on, and we didn't take a guess, so we don't count that against our five and six record. Um, the ones we got right, Dr. Elvis is the Serpent, the Whatchamacallit was Lonzo Ball, the Snow Owls were Clint Black and Lisa Hartman Black, Squiggly Monster was Bob Saget, Giraffe was Brian Austin Green. The one we didn't get, which I can't imagine anybody knew, maybe he did, maybe he didn't, was baby alien and that was mark sanchez which pff, that was so left field it wasn't even like it's like where are you coming from with this those clues worked so well for seth green and we were wrong that kind of gets us to this next point so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the uh, super six who they are but we're really going to focus on two people two people one is who we think is going home and two is one we now know is not who we thought it was who is that that's the mushroom so we've been saying Billy Porter, Billy Porter, Billy Porter. We know it's not Billy Porter now. How do we know? Last week in the top secret folder, I believe, uh, in, or I'm not sure if it was the three top secret, but anyways, uh, the, one of the clues in the clue packages said that they had a 4.0 plus grade point average. And it also said that they were the class president at their high school. And we've seen a lot of high school references and a lot of Hamilton references. And we saw a boxing ring or a wrestling ring last week. Um, a lot of this mushroom stuff is about underground and stuff like that. So we're going to take it away from Billy Porter because Billy Porter never graduated from high school. Um, but a lot of this stuff works for Aloe Black or Block. Um, our, I don't know how to say his last name, but um, Allo had a 4.0 plus in high school. He was the class president in his high school. Um, he started an underground rap, that mushroom reference, that underground rap. Um, the first set of clues that were given, um, the rat race at a job that may surprise you. He was working in an accounting firm, was let go, um, and then focused on music, so Rat Race. And later on, it does say that it says their world was turned upside down and they got their shot to turn a hobby into a career. Well, he was underground rap. That was a hobby. Turned into a career when he could focus on music from being let go from the accounting firm. The Rat Race. The, you know, focused on 
music, the um, got to turn a hobby into career. That all works for that. Um, the Hamilton references. He was on a Hamilton mix album with Lin Manuel. And I also notice again that Lin Manuel, that Hamilton, almost everybody seems to have had some sort of a Hamilton reference. Like they want us to guess Lin Manuel this year, um, but we're not going to. <clears throat> He's not any of these people. Um, also, Alla wears hats all the time. So going back to that sneak peek episode clue of if you want to know who's behind my mask, you'll need to figure out who's under my hats. Um, also, saying on WWE SmackDown, the wrestling ring, boxing ring, whatever you want to say. Um, so we're going to change and say that this is Aloe Black. But that's not who's going home. No. Um, so we're going to go over who we think all these people are. We're going to just go over them really quick. Jellyfish, we said last week. Chloe Kim, still think that's it. She fits under the uh, influential people, of uh, the 100 influential um, people of people magazine i believe i think that was who it was um and then the gold medal that fits that criteria so that helps us with that um but i think she's too good of a singer to go home i really do uh tori kelly the tea with tori the dogs the um the oklahoma references all of that stuff um all i think leads to tori kelly um so we're not thinking she's going home. That's the seahorse. Um, the crocodile, Nick Carter. Um, we'll go over that here in just a second. Uh, then the popcorn, Taylor Dane. We know with the the platter, with the snake, the uh, apple, the meatloaf, welcome to the hood, the Rubik's Cube reference, the crimper, all of that stuff leads to her. She was in a group called Rubik's Cube. All of those things on the platter lead up to Original Sin, which was her song. And then Meatloaf did it on Welcome to the Neighborhood. So that fits perfectly for that. Um, yeah, so I don't think she's going home either. Um, she might be the second person to go home. And if she goes home, well, I think it's Taylor Dane. The popcorn, we'll just put that out right now. Popcorn, Taylor Dane. Remember that, if that's who goes home. But I don't think it is. And then the sun... The sun is um, definitely Leanne Rhymes. Uh, the meditation references, the um, the talk about the tumultuous growing up and all the bad things that happened and you know rumors and all of that. Talking about ray of light changed everything for her. The Mickey Mouse reference, all of this stuff, and her voice. I, I just think it's Leanne Rhymes, and I don't think she's going home. No, I think who's going home is a crocodile, Nick Carter. Um, lots of references to palm trees and Hollywood, and that's, I think, if I remember right, he was born in Hollywood, Florida, not Hollywood, California. Um, there's uh, references to a lot of boy bands in this. Um, and also uh, the Italian flag talks about the... Uh, Heritage that him and his father just found out about that his father has a little bit of Italian heritage. It talks about how his father um, didn't believe in his talent until he brought home money from it. And that's when his father realized he could do it. Uh, a lot of that stuff, the um, heartache and instability growing up, it's just all that. And then last week was the, or two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago. When they sent home, actually, no, it was last week, or no, it was two weeks ago, when they sent home the serpent and the whatchamacallit, there was a quick reference. They said uh, step by step in there, and also one of the people, I'm trying to look it up here, um, his game changing clue from a former contestant that he has a connection with came from season one's bees. Gladys Knight, um, it says Croc was in a huge cult classic movie. Going back to uh, to the first episode he was on, it says he sh it shows him sliding down a slip and slide with a red heart balloons around it. He was in Edward Scissorhands, and he played a little boy, was in just a few seconds of the movie, sliding on a slip and slide. I think that gives it away right there. I think it's Nick Carter. Um, 
you know, I get all this information, all these clues, everything from a website. I'm going to put that down there uh, in the description box, let you guys look at it. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think I'm right about Nick Carter. Tell me if you think I'm right about Taylor Dane. Those are the two that might, might go home. Maybe. I think it is Nick Carter, though. Let me know who you think these people are down in the description box or down in the comments. And uh, let me know who you think is going home between the six of these. Uh, all of that down in the comments would greatly appreciate it. Again, you can always email me or DM me on Twitter. I'll, I'll take that, too. Um, but I'm really thinking Nick Carter, the crocodiles, going home. Again, I will put the information or the link to that website that I get all this information off of down in the description box so you guys can check it out. Again, guys, remember, help us out to get that 5,000 subscriber mark. Smash the subscribe button. Hit the bell. The bell really helps, guys. Hit the bell, and you know when we're coming out with new stuff. The PayPal donation, greatly appreciated. At, tw at Chris Knight 5150 is the Twitter. Chris Knight um, at TheRealReview3000.com is the email. Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and we now have channel membership here. Go to the Real Review 3000's main YouTube page and hit that join button. It'll tell you everything you need to know about how to join and the tiers. We would greatly appreciate you looking at that. Thank you very much, guys. I am Chris Knight. This has been the Real Review 3000 and Unmasking the Mask Singer. I'm officially out of here. Hey, guys, thanks for checking us out. Be sure to subscribe to both channels and make sure to check out our friends in the fandom minutes. You can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and BitChute. And you can also send us an email at sean at seanstackhousereacts.com and chrisknight at therealreview3000.com. Be sure to swing by our Teespring store to pick up some awesome merchandise.